Bob Wallace attended Cass City High School, where he graduated in 1953. An exceptional athlete, Wallace earned 13 varsity letters while competing in football, basketball, baseball, and track for the Red Hawks. The Cass City newspaper ranked Wallace as one of the region's top 10 basketball players in the 1950s. He earned a bachelor's degree from Central Michigan University. While at CMU, Wallace played football, basketball, and ran track. Wallace played in two Red Feather football games while at Central. From 1955 to 1957, he was a member of the Armed Forces, and he competed for his camp teams while stationed in Germany. After attaining his master's degree, he began teaching and coaching at Hemlock High School in the fall of 1961, where his coaching duties included head baseball and basketball coach and assistant varsity football coach. And uh, well, the big thing I think came across with him, he loved athletics and it didn't matter which sport, really. Um, you could tell uh, he studied it. Um, he knew what it took to be a winner. Three years later, he was named head coach of the varsity football team, and that became his main focus from 1964 to 84, where he built a winning tradition. So really got to know Bob by him walking into my room. He came in and he said, would you like to coach football with us? I said, Bob, I, I didn't play college football. I played high school football, but I didn't play college football. I said, I, what do you mean you want me to be coach with you? This is what Bob Wallace was good at. He could look at people and study people. He said, look, I can teach you football. I can't teach you how to work with young people. I've watched you. You can work with young people. During that time, his teams compiled a 134-47-2 record, including nine league championships, five undefeated seasons, two 20-game winning streaks, and an 18-game winning streak. Well, we had uh, uh, some uh, good kids, good farm kids coming off the farm, uh, but uh, and credit to Bob, he was able to uh, uh, mold those kids together into pretty good football players uh, in their time. Yeah, we had some good teams in our time. We started the two-a-days in the summer when it was so hot, but we actually didn't mind because we got out of bail and hay because we got to go to football practice. The Huskies suffered just one losing season under Wallace. More than 10 of his assistants went on to be head coaches after serving under him. Uh, to say that he was a mentor would be an understatement. Um, I like to think I coached the way he coached, although he was probably nicer than me. The coaches he had, he surrounded himself with good people good coaching staff, they uh, followed his direction, uh, they knew what the plan was, and like I, like I indicated, they took a really young, uh, young kid of 14 years old, 13 sometimes in cases, and uh, uh, by the time they were through that first year of JV football, back then we only had JV and uh, varsity, uh, they had a pretty good feel on what it took to be a football player. But he's the one I think I took after as far as how he related to kids. I became a coach at Hemlock through Bob, but I became part of the Hemlock family because of B. B pulled all of the coaches' wives in. My wife became part of Hemlock. Uh, Bob and B are just two of the greatest people you ever wanted to meet. He's Bob or coach. She's still Mrs. Wallace. I can't bring myself to call her B. Wallace was named Class B Regional Coach of the Year in 1974, 75, and 77, and his teams won more football games in the 1970s than any team in the Saginaw area. His teams were so dominant that Central Michigan League officials asked the school to switch leagues. He retired as a football coach in 1985 and continued as a teacher in Hemlock until 1996. In 1991, Wallace was inducted into the Michigan High School Football Coaches Hall of Fame. In 2007, the Hemlock Board of Education members voted unanimously to rename the school's football field Wallace Field in his honor. Ten years ago, I was on the committee when we renamed the football field, the Wallace Field. We had over 200 players show up at that. He was just an ingenious coach. He, he had a feel for the game. But Bob, I want you to know that your two-a-days, your willingness to work with us, your uh, ability to get us to work together as a team is what got all those kids through that type of experience 
uh, during our time.